Good evening and welcome to your NewsLink Indiana Quick Hits. I'm Molly Carr. Today, Governor Mike Pence sent a letter to Democrat State School Superintendent Glenda Ritz. He says teachers should not be penalized for the expected de decline in new standardized test scores. Indiana adopted new, more rigorous academic standards last year. According to the Star Press, education experts say they expect I-STEP test scores to be slightly lower as a result of the changes. State Schools Chief Glenda Ritz has asked for a pause in accountability. Pence says he is working with lawmakers to create legislation to keep I-STEP scores from negatively affecting teacher evaluations and performance bonuses during the first year of the transition. The Indiana State Police are leading an investigation into the disappearance of more than $5,000 in cash from the Anderson Police Department Drug Task Force office. Assistant Chief Jerry Miller says the Anderson Police Department asked the state police to take over the investigation yesterday. A drug task force officer discovered the money was missing on September 25th. Two other officers have also reported missing funds since the initial discovery. It's believed anyone could have accessed the office and had the opportunity to take the money. Recently, there have been stories about a shortage of teachers, but a recent report from Ball State University indicates there is an excess of educators in Indiana. The research found that teaching in Indiana is one of the most stable occupations in the state. Since the mid to late 1980s, teacher employment, the number of bachelor degrees have been stable. Only a small percentage work in education. According to the study, about 39,000 trained teachers are working outside of public education. Interpride has selected Indianapolis to host the International Pride Organization's General Meeting and World Conference in October 2017. Around 300 leaders from worldwide organizations supporting the unity of the LGBT and straight communities are expended, expected to attend the annual conference. Indy Pride President Chris Moorhead told the Indy Star Press he is excited to welcome other lesbian, gay, bisexual, and transgender activists and supporters to the city. This year's event was held from October 15th to October 18th in Las Vegas. The 2016 conference will be held in Montpellier, France. And that is all I have for this edition of NewsLink Indiana Quick Hits. Make sure to tune in to NewsLink Indiana tonight at 9 o'clock p.m. And don't forget to like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. For NewsLink Indiana, I'm Molly Carr, and have a great evening.